Hello, welcome to FEM Expert. In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to open ANSYS Classic, also known as ANSYS APDL. This tutorial has been previously done a few years ago, but we are redoing some of our tutorials in order to improve their quality and the information that we provide. So we're going to start with the Start Menu, Programs. This will be your ANSYS folder. In our case, it's ANSYS 13. It doesn't matter, it's the results are, or the, the information is equivalent up to the latest version. So here you would have uh, three main icons that would be of interest. The ANSYS is Mechanical APDL, the uh, Mechanical APDL Product Launcher, and the ANSYS Workbench. We're gonna talk a little bit about the ANSYS Workbench. This is a ANSYS interface that has been promoted by ANSYS since the version 11. It is widely used especially for the simulation of volume type elements, models, more complex models, but it's not very used for simulations with shell and beams. This is, and for more complex simulation, this is due to the fact that it, it uh, the programming is more complex. It doesn't use the APDL language which belongs to ANSYS. So therefore it is still not being widely used for complex simulations. So the necessity of using ANSYS is still there, especially for more complex and detailed simulations. So we're going to go and look at here. This is the mechanical APDL ANSYS. Since it is the only one that has the ANSYS name, it would be the most uh, common thing to do to go and double click on this icon. So we're going to do it. And as you can see, it opens the ANSYS program. The downside of doing it this way is that you don't know where are you working, which folder, and which is the name of the file that you're using. Therefore, this type of uh, accessing, this way of accessing ANSYS, it's good when you're trying to perform easy simulations that you could make the simulation, finish it, look at the results, and then just close ANSYS. In order to close ANSYS, you can go to File, Exit, you can easily use, use the Quit button or go here and hit the X button. It will prompt you to exit from ANSYS. You can save everything or you can just quit, no save, and hit OK. So we're back, back in here and we're going to talk about the most important component which is the mechanical APDL product launcher. So we're going to double click on it and the product launcher it is in basically another little program that ANSYS uses to administrate the ad information or the characteristics for the model. So here we have the environment simulation ANSYS. We can have ANSYS batch which runs ANSYS in the batch mode, which is on the background of the computer without having a graphical interface, and the LSI server, which corresponds to another type of program. The license, based on what license do you have, you'll have different options here. You just have to select them from the drop-down menu. And then uh, you would have um, the working directory and the job name. These are the most important components here. I'm gonna, we're gonna look at them in a second. We're gonna go to customization preferences. Here you have memory options there are you have to understand what you're doing here also graphical device names to choose the graphical type of uh, the way that the graphics are going to be seen is going to be processed in ANSYS and if you have any doubts or any questions you can look at the product help because these are more specific configurations and they're very sp they, they, they will be used in very few situations then you have the high, high performance computing setup this allows you to use multiple processors if you share, use the shared memory processor you can use as many processors as you have or cores improving the quality the time of your simulations but this depends on the on the license that you have also you can use the gpu accelerator the gpu is the graphical process unit which will significantly increase this um these calculations too, but you also have to have the specific card and you have to have the you have to have the hardware and you have to have the license in order to be able to use these capabilities. Then you will have the distributed computing MPP. This is for situations, very specific situations when you can simulate a model of ANSYS in multiple computers. Normally is is intended for clusters or more complex computing systems. So we're gonna go back here to file management. Here we have the working director. We're going to choose this FEM expert without the, the underscore. If you want to make a folder with a name like this, I would highly advise you not to use the space and rather than a dash or underscore or something or any kind of character to differentiate the name. But 
I would highly not advise to use uh, spaces because ANSYS doesn't do good when there's a spaces in the names. For example, if you have test and you want to do a test one model, I highly advise you not to use a space there rather than using dash one or underscore one. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a test underscore one under the femexpert folder and gonna hit run. So here we can see we have the same ANSYS. It's the same program, everything is the same. The only difference is that we, we have the test underscore one under the file name. And if we go to open the ANSYS file, we're gonna be in the femexpert folder or the folder, the job, uh, the, the working folder we selected. Here we can go ahead and hit save. And when we go to open, we'll see that we have test one underscore one because that's the, na the, the name of the file that we're working with. And every time we hit save again, what will happen is the last file, the DB file that we had, is going to transform into a DBB file, which means database backup. And the, and the last information all is going to be saved under the test one DB. This, help, this is very helpful when you make mistakes because there's no undo button in these programs. So if you made a mistake and you realize before saving the second time, you can go back and open the DBB file, which will save your, your model or at least the information that you had at, up to that point. So that will be it for today's tutorial. And uh, we, would like, we hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If our tutorials are helpful for you, please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button.